this part two in a series of videos detailing how to find an inverse of a function. In this video we do a second example where we find the inverse of the function f of x equals 3x over x minus 1. If we graph the function we first see that it is 1 to 1 so that we can find the inverse. So the function is 1 to 1 so we will find the inverse. The first that's the first step. The second step is to solve y equals f of x for x. Or in other words, we're going to solve y equals 3x over x minus 1 for x. Okay? So my first step is going to be to multiply both sides by x minus 1. Okay, now we want to solve this for x. So first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by x minus 1. I get xy minus y is equal to 3x. Now I want to isolate all my x's on one side, all my y on the other. So I get, I'm going to subtract an xy both sides. Okay, so I get minus y is equal to 3x minus x y. Over here I can factor out an x, okay, so I get 3 minus y is equal to a minus y. And now for my last step I'm just going to divide both sides by 3 minus y, okay. And I end up with x equal to minus y over 3 minus y. And now just to make my life easier I'm going to factor out a negative 1 of the top and the bottom. So if I pull out a negative 1 that makes my y positive and my 3 negative. Okay? And then these two negative 1's will cancel out and make a positive. So I'm going to end up with x equals y over y minus 3. Just to simplify calculations. And now for my last step I need to exchange x and y to get my inverse. So my f inverse of x is going to be equal to this here, but in place of my y's I'm going to put x's. x over x minus 3. So now I want to check that to see if my compositions hold true. I'm going to get a new sheet to do that. So here I have my original function and my inverse. And now I'm going to see if it's true if f of f inverse of x is going to equal x. So I'm going to go to my f function. Wherever I have an x, I'm going to plug in f inverse of x. So my f function is 3, but in place of that x, I'm going to write f inverse, which is x over x minus 3. And my denominator is an x here, but in place of that x, I'm going to write x over x minus 3 and then I'm going to subtract 1. So first I have to find a common denominator in my, de uh, in my denominator. So here we have 3x over x minus 3. Okay, all I did was just distribute that 3 in the numerator. All right, and down here I'm going to end up with x over x minus 3, but now I have to find a common denominator, which is going to be x minus 3. So I'm just going to basically multiply this by x minus 3, my negative 1. So I end up with minus x plus 3, okay? And when I do my, my numerator is going to stay the same, 3x over x minus 3. And now my denominator, my x minus x goes away and I end up with 3 over x minus 3. And now when I divide by a rational expression, I actually multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by x minus 3 over 3. And I can see here, x minus 3 and x minus 3 cancel. My 3 and my 3 cancel, and I'm just left with an x. So the composition of f by f inverse does equal x. Now let's try the next one. Does the composition of f inverse in f of x equal x? So in this one, I'm going to go to my inverse function and wherever I have an x, I'm going to plug in my f of x. Okay, so I'm going to start here. 
and I have an X in the numerator, all right, but in place of this X here, I'm going to plug in this whole thing. 3X over X minus 1. And in my denominator, I have an X here, so in place of that X, I'm going to plug in, again, 3X over X minus 1. And then I've got a minus 3 in this case. Once again, my numerator is just going to stay the same, and my denominator, I'm going to have to find a least common multiple, which in this case is just going to be x minus 1. So I'm going to multiply this by x minus 1, okay, so that I can get my least common multiple. My numerator stays the same. In my denominator, I end up with 3x, and my denominator of my denominator is going to be x minus 1 and here I just multiply this out this is going to be minus 3x plus 3 okay so my numerator stays 3x over x minus 1 and now my denominator I've got 3x minus 3x that goes away I'm left with a 3 over x minus 1 but whenever I divide by a rational expression, I can multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by x minus 1 over 3. My 3's would cancel, my x minus 1's would cancel, and I'd be left with x. So it is true that x over x minus 3 is the inverse of my original function 3x divided by x minus 1.